Boker Tov. Uh, yesterday we began to look at the first chapter of Sefer Yimezi Karon of Rav um, which, which is entitled Shlichut, which means to be on a mission. <clears throat> and we, uh, we, yesterday our focus was on being created in God's image, and I asked you to reflect a little bit about that for yourself. What does it mean to look at myself as in the image of God? What is it calling me to do and to be? And here the Rav takes us to the Gemara and Nida. Perhaps you know this Gemara. Uh, it's on Daf Lamed Amid Beit. Kevan Shabal Avir Haolam Ba Malach V'Satrel Piv. When a when a child comes, a soul comes into the world. An angel comes and uh, strikes it on his on his lip, on his mouth. Um, and Ve'Eno Yotzei Misham Ad Shemash Bi'Ino To. And he's not allowed out to emerge, actually to uh, to be born until. An oath is um, is instituted. Um, in quotes of pasuk, um, and that, that, that seems to prove it. <coughs> so, what is the oath that this person is uh, is asked to take? This new soul entering the world. Tehi tzadik val rasha. I want you to take an oath that you're going to be a righteous person and not a wicked person. And even if the world is telling you, oh, you're a great tzaddik, you really are a great person, you should be in your eyes as if you were um, you were yet a wicked person. Don't let it go to your head. And the dangers of it, what happens if you let them, those voices actually uh, enter your mind. Okay, so that's the one piece. Okay, that's good. Do, do good in this world. Be good in this world. Be a righteous person. You should know that God is whole, is pure, and those who um, <coughs> those who serve God, they are whole, they are impure as well. And the soul that God has placed within you, it is pure too. So if you guard and protect. The soul that's put inside of you, which is interesting. Who is God? Who is the angel talking to? I would have thought of talking directly to the soul, but now it's sort of this, the uh, it's to the body, which is which is adopting the soul. So if you take care of it, betahara, that's great. But if you don't do so, I'm going to take it away from you, which basically means somehow that if you misuse your body and 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 and, and do uh, things which are um, which are deleterious to to the to the sanctity, the purity of the soul. God says, "I'm going to yank it away." We don't have to uh, um, examine uh, statistics to see the people that we think um, are not treating it betahara and see that they're still walking on the earth. The Gemara will, in other places, deal with that. But as a um, as an essential perspective that, that that newborn soul and body has to have, and of course. This Gemara is not talking to them, it's talking to you and to me. To think about ourselves in this way, to begin to ask questions about what is it that we swore to and where are we now? Not to kill us, but to help, help uh, propel us in a different direction. Think about your Shavua, um, the version of your Shavua for yourself, and how you want to align yourself with that. As we continue our learning for tomorrow, let that be in a voter for today. Have a great day.